Hi guys, this is an instructional video on how to set the input and the distance travelled on a mechanical flexible throttle system for both the throttle and the gearbox actuation. So this one actuator box will control both one throttle on one engine and one gearbox actuation on one mechanical gearbox. These levers here are adjustable, so what happens is your Morse cable sits in this particular rack here, it clamps in here and connects onto this pin here, and same again for the throttle on this side, and it is completely adjustable in terms of where the idle position is and how far forward you come forward to full throttle. It sometimes can be all the way out at the end of the travel, sometimes it's only halfway on the travel. With the gearbox, you can. what we're going to do next is program the three positions for where neutral is, forward is, and where reverse is. And you can also have it set up so it's the other way around. So you might have forward at the, at the top of the box, neutral, and reverse down this way. Everything with the Flexball system is very easy to adjust and completely programmable. So what we'll do is we'll take the lid off here and we'll just have a look inside. You can see we've got a main circuit board just here. We've got the two electric motors at the top there which control for the gear selection and then also for the throttle movement. So what we do here is we have three little buttons, down, up and enter. So what we need to do here is we need to hold down the up and the down button simultaneously. And when you're holding down these two buttons and then you apply power, thank you, you'll see we have here UL showing on this digital display. So UL is the first of the positions for the throttle, which effectively means throttle idle. So what we need to do is we press the enter button to make that flash and then what we can do is we can use the up and the down buttons simply moving the lever to set where we want the idle position to be. So when you've got the Morse cable connected here, you disconnect it at the motor itself and that way when you move it to wherever you want the idle position to be, and let's say it's just about there, it lines up perfectly on the engine itself. You then press the enter button to save that information and then you press the up button. This takes us to UH and what we do there is we press enter again and it starts flashing and that allows us to then move the lever all the way to the other position. Again you want to make sure that on the engine itself the Morse cable is moving the whatever lever, be it a potentiometer or a mechanical fuel pump lever, as far as it needs to go to the full position, but you do not want to overload it. So you don't want to force this to be trying to pull the Morse cable and therefore pull the throttle further than it's actually able to go. Always have it so it's about a millimeter or two millimeter on the underside of full throttle. So what we do then is we press the enter button to save that information. We press the up button again and this takes us to OL. So OL refers to our reverse lever now. So we've done everything on the throttle. We had idle and full throttle. And now the system here will automatically work out the proportion required on your full lever movement on the throttle. When it comes to the gears, you need to set your three positions, your reverse, your neutral, and your forward position. Or again, it could be opposite. So you could actually set it your reverse, your neutral, and your forward position like that. So what we do is we press enter to make OL flash and then we move our lever for the reverse position. So in this instance, we're gonna pretend that reverses this way. And again, with this Morse cable in, you wanna make sure that you've got it disconnected on the gearbox. You click the mechanical lever on the gearbox to where it needs to be, and you line up the Morse cable to make sure that it's not putting excessive tension on the Morse cable or onto this position here, but to make sure that it has properly gone into the detent. The last thing you want is the selector to not quite be in the detent on the gearbox. Once you've found the right position, on OL for gearbox reverse, you press enter. You press up again to come to OF. OF refers to the neutral position on the gearbox lever. So then again, what we do is we make it press enter to make the system flash, and we adjust the movement on the shaft with the electric motor until we get to wherever the neutral position is. And again, click it into neutral on the gearbox, have the mechanical Morse cable off of it, and line them up so that they are perfectly in line. When you're happy, again press the enter button to save that setting. And then the last one, press the up button again to OH. That refers to the forward position on your gearbox. Again, press enter to make it flash and that means we can adjust it. And again, move it in the correct direction until it is perfectly in the right position for where the forward selector is on the gearbox. Again, 
press the enter to save it, it will stop flashing. And then all you have to do is come to the power, either turn the power off or you can simply pull the power plug out. As soon then as you re-plug it back in, you will see it will automatically reset to idle, neutral position. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.